a summary of all English tenses for ESL teachers and learners. The tense system of English is probably one of the most daunting areas for many speakers of other languages. Multiple tenses should be taught through explaining strict grammar rules while allowing the students to practice proper structure, as well as evaluating themselves with quizzes and examples. There are three different tenses in English, the past, the present, and the future. Each of these tenses has four aspects, simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. The past tenses. The past tense expresses or indicates a time that is in the past. For instance, if we want to say that an event occurred or something was the case at a particular time in the past, we use the past simple tense which is the one we use most often. 1. Simple past tense. Structure, verb plus ed or irregular verb. Example, it rained yesterday. 2. Past continuous tense. Structure, was or were plus present participle. Example, we were not listening. 3. Past perfect tense. Structure, had plus past participle. Example, he had completed his project. 4. Past perfect continuous tense. Structure, had plus been plus past participle. Example, I had been eating my dinner for 20 minutes. The present tenses. It is the situation when we are talking an existing state of events. We use a verb that is the present tense. 1. Simple present tense. Structure, base verb, plus s or s for third party. Example, I read a book every night. 2. Present continuous tense. Structure, is, am, are, plus present participle. Example, he is sitting in a chair. 3. Present perfect tense. Structure, has or have, plus past participle. Example, I have finished my report. 4. Present perfect continuous tense. Structure, has, have, plus been, plus present participle. Example, I have been studying at this school since 2013. The future tense. This describes an action that will take place at some future time. For example, if we want to say something that is planned to happen, or we think it is likely to happen in the future, then we use the future tense. 1. Simple future tense. Structure, will, plus verb. Example, he will complete his summative task tomorrow. 2. Future continuous tense. Structure, will be, plus present participle am is are, plus going to be, plus present participle. Example, I will be watching the movie at 7 p.m. 3. Future perfect tense. Structure, will have, plus past participle am is are, plus going to have, plus past participle. Example, she will have completed the English course by the end of this year. 4. Future perfect continuous tense. Structure, will have been, plus present participle am is are, plus going to have been, plus present participle. Example, by next Sunday, I will have been studying grammar for two weeks. In summary, English grammar of multiple tenses can be hard to learn for lots of non-native English speakers. Many complex rules and exceptions make the language difficult to master. However, teaching multiple tenses can help students to learn English language from the basis. Three main types of tenses are explained above with examples and basic structures. Learn how to teach tenses effectively with a TEFL course today. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.